Guys, this is not clickbait. I'm telling you this isn't clickbait. If you care about the well-being of classical music, you have to listen to my story. Earlier this week, I got to watch my favorite pianist of all time perform. And no, I know what you're thinking. This is going to make your YouTube channel. No, no, like, no. If you've been around my channel since a YouTube video titled When the Third Movement of Rachmaninoff Kicks In, you would know that I use a very specific recording slash performance for that video. And that very interpretation of the third Rachmaninoff piano concerto was done by an absolute mastermind named Alexander Malafé. In fact, I've even got him in one of my latest videos, which is titled Eight Levels of Child Prodigies, and he appears twice. Many of you know how great he is. I've been a fan of his work ever since I really got back into the piano. And when I realized that he was performing not too far away from where I am, I had to get tickets. In fact, I got the last two tickets, one for me and one for my dad. And for some reason, they were right in front of the stage. Here I am freaking out going, the audience is gonna be wild. It's it, it's a sold out concert. I, I'm gonna be listening to one of the greatest in Rachmaninoff interpreters of all time. So here I am on the day of the concert, got a nice blue button down, clean blue jacket. And you guys already know, I've got the ice on my wrist. All right, I've got- <laughs> No, 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 no. Got the ice on my wrist. And here's a photo of me actually at the concert hall. It was great, but did you notice something? Everyone in the audience is over the age of 105. Well, I'm kidding, but I mean, really. There was not a single young person except for me, and I think that there were maybe 10 to 15 people total below the age of 25. And this was out of hundreds of people that attended the concert. And uh, you may be saying, well, what's wrong with that? Here's what's wrong with that. If you guys have seen some of my videos, you understand why I do what I do. I want classical music to prosper and thrive, not to survive and die. I mean, that's why I use memes in my videos. It's like a way for me to communicate with the younger generation, AKA my generation. And uh, you know, it, it keeps classical music hip, right? Aside from that, the most incredible wave of depression really just kicked in as I was sitting there. Here I am, I'm telling my dad like, Am I the only person younger below the age of 25? We're both shocked, but anyway. I'm here to enjoy the concert and focus on Alexander, as if you were to cast a spell on the audience like Tinkerbell using her pixie dust. The time finally arrives and Alexander comes onto the stage. And when he walks out, the audience erupts. Like, here I am, clapping like crazy. And uh, then he takes notice of me, and he starts to smile. You know, I was chuckling, smiling back at him. You know, I, I know he noticed me. I know he noticed me. Like, you know, here he is. I'm so privileged to watch Alexander perform. He looks at the rest of the audience, soaks it in, and is ready to perform. One thing I took notice of was the fact that the piano bench was so low to the ground. Here's a picture of uh, how his bench was positioned. The piano bench is like one foot off the ground, and here I am wondering how on earth he's gonna play. You know, my heart is beating like crazy when I hear the opening notes of the Beethoven Moonlight Sonata. I'm hooked. You know, I, I'm here to enjoy the music that he's about to share with everyone and just be transported to another dimension. I'm gonna spare you guys some time and uh, cut to the end of the concert because this is where things go crazy. And so when he's done performing with the perfect Rachmaninoff etude to end the concert with from Opus 33, everyone is going crazy. Like I'm just smiling, you know, I'm happy for him. He played an absolutely stellar concert. And so he walks off, comes back on, the audience is still going crazy. And uh, he plays an encore by Metner. Now here's where things got me upset. Remember how I mentioned the age of the audience? They really had no idea what they were listening to. Really, they were absolutely clueless. You know, as he's done performing his encore and he's taking in the applause, people start walking away like this. Ooh, did you get your bag? And I, I'm turning around like, what is going on? Why is half of the audience leaving? You know, here I am mentally raging and I'm, I'm trying to get an encore clap going with my dad. This one dude who's right next to me notices and starts going, I'm like, let's go, we're gonna get another encore. But you know, I mean, he leaves and if I were him, my mindset would have been great. I don't have to play anymore. I can head to bed early, get some nice sleep and move on to my next concert. I walked out of there knowing that what I hope to do and what many other large YouTube channels like Tiffany Poon, Two Set Violin, Ben at Tone Bass Piano, um, they're getting younger people into classical music. They might not be doing that willingly, but they are as a result of their amazing work. And so we need to save classical music, all right? I, I can't let it, like, who's who's gonna be sitting in the audience if I, I'm only one of 10 other people below the age of 25 and the rest are over 100? Maybe I'm overanalyzing this to an unrealistic degree, but man, was I disappointed. 
At the end of the day, I learned two things. Uh, one, classical music is dying. I don't care what statistics are on the internet. Uh, that is actual proof of it. And uh, Alexander Malafaev is a truly incredible pianist. Please go check out the links in the description. They will contain Alexander's social media and his concert schedule. If you are in the area of which he is performing, please go do your best to watch him perform. Uh, you won't regret it. As always, if you made it this far into the video, what are you doing? Like, go practice or something, I don't know. Uh, but while you're leaving to go grab your instrument and practice, consider that like and subscribe button, and uh, I will catch you all in my next video.